Hey everyone, my name is Abhishek and today we are going to create this minimal UI animation in After Effects. Now it's very easy to create and you can use these kind of animations in your Instagram Reels or any portfolio you want. So let's see how to make this. Alright, so I am in After Effects and first we will begin by creating a new composition. Let's call this one main, width and height will be 19, 20 by 1080, frame rate 30 fps, duration you can pick whatever you want, just click on OK. Now we are going to create our background, so right click, let's add a solid and I am going to make it a little bit of white, click on OK, there you go. Now we are ready to add our elements, so for that we are going to use a round rectangle tool and just simply click and make it something like that. Let's quickly change its color, I am going to make it like blue. Let's align it in the center. If you're not able to see the align panel, go to windows and from here you can enable it. Let's make sure that its anchor point is in the center. So you can hold on the control key and double click on this pan anchor tool. Now the anchor point is in the center. Now we are ready to animate it, but we are going to do it by using the size property. So in the beginning, I want this to be like completely covering the screen. So I'm going to set this to 19, 20 by 1080. And let's do one more thing. Let's search for roundness and I'm going to increase this to something like 40. Let's search for size again and let's add a keyframe. Now I can increase it so that we don't see any kind of these whites, white areas. Let's zoom in and just move to somewhere around, let's say 15 frames and I'm going to lower it down and let's make a button or this box. Now we can select the text tool, let's type our text, let's type workout, let's align it in the center, let's make sure that this anchor point is also in the center, make it down, I think this looks good, now we can select this, press U, we want all of these elements to have little bit of overshoot animation, so for that you can use this expression, so just go to this realistic bounce motion scripts.com, I will put a link in the description, and after that you will go to this website, just scroll down and Go to this section where we have this keyframe offshoot, overshoot and just copy this expression. Then go back to After Effects. Now we can apply it by simply holding down the Alt key and if I click on this stopwatch, now all I have to do is just press paste it and now if I press play, you can see now we have this animation and our box is like moving. We can select this keyframe, press F9 and let's play with it a little bit like this. So now we have this very nice overshoot. We can move these keyframes far away. Closer these keyframes are, more extreme effect we will have. So for example, now you, you can see we have this very extreme effect. If I move it far away, then you can see we have this very subtle effect. But for this example, I'm going to keep it over here. Now we can also add a little bit of rotation animation to like make it a little bit stand out. So let's add a keyframe and somewhere around here, we can just tilt it a little bit nothing much now we can hold on the alt key click on the stopwatch and paste the same expression select these two keyframes press f9 make sure that this keyframe is always linear otherwise your expression won't work now if i press play we have this very subtle rotation in the beginning which adds a little bit of more character to our scene now we can select this let's press p and let's add a keyframe t for opacity let's press u and this is going to be our final position but in the beginning we want this to be like down below and let's just set its opacity to zero now if i press play you can see our text comes in let's press f9 and we can change its easing as well let's play around with its timing i think this looks good so once you're done with this we are ready to expand this box into a bigger one so for that we can have add a keyframe for the size now let's move like a couple of frames ahead now I want this to like scale up and maybe I think this looks good. We don't want it to like scale. I think this looks good. So now if I press play, you can see we have this animation. Again, we can do the same thing. Select this keyframe, press F9 to easy is this. Let's zoom in and let's change the easing to something like that. Now we can add the same rotation keyframe so let's add a keyframe and somewhere around here we can like rotate it a little bit then just set it back to zero so copy and paste now let's select these two keyframes press f9 and let's tweak the curves i want this to start quick and this to be quick as well there you go now we have this very interesting motion 
if you want you can like hold on, select all the keyframes hold on the alt key to have little bit of more but i think this fast motion looks good perfect so once we have this we are ready to add our asset that means we can have anything inside this larger windows for this i'm going to use one of these clips that i have already imported let's drag this one and it's quite big so i'm going to press s let's just scale this down and i'm going to like scale it something around here now we're going to use the track mat to make our layer visible through this shape so for that we can just simply select this video and just track mat and select our shape layer now we want our shape layer to be visible as well so we can enable it and now if i press play you can see our video is visible let's select the video and i want this main character to be over here let's select this press u and maybe we can increase its size there you go now let's increase it a little bit more this looks good now we don't want it to like start as it is we can have opacity animation so let's add a keyframe move it a little bit ahead set this to zero and there you go now we have this reveal maybe a little bit more ahead perfect so now we have our video clip so before we continue if you enjoy my work and you want to support me then you can check out my patreon page over there you will get access to the tutorial project files exclusive templates and all the other advanced vfx and cgi tutorials that are available only on patreon so make sure to check them out link for that is in the description now let's continue and over here we can have our more elements so for example i can select the ellipse tool let's draw a ellipse let's align it in the center make sure that this anchor point is also inside the shape layer now we are basically creating our button so for that we can select this text and let's just type plus and make sure that its anchor point is also in the center let's align it in the middle let's press s and just scale this down so that we have this very nice button i think the width is too much let's set this to semi bold so here we have our button and we can basically select them and just place them wherever we want i want this button to be somewhere around here looks good let's place it over here now we can animate it by adding a keyframe for scale rotation let's press u in the beginning we want it to like completely over to this side and the scale we can set this to zero select the keyframes press f9 let's go to the graph and we want this to start very quick so i'm going to change it to look like that maybe this is too fast so we can move these keyframes like a little bit ahead this looks good but let's play with the rotation and i want it to be extremely fast in the beginning there you go i like this one now we can align these elements with the shape as well so let's select them and we are going to change the track mat of this to this shape as well so that it is also not visible and it will be visible only after this now we can play around with their position and i think it looks good over here now we can select this workout text press ctrl d to duplicate this and let's add this add this one to the top so let's just place it to this point and we are basically going to change their position so let's select both of these keyframes and let's just lift them up so that the final position is this one now if i press play and just play around with its timing maybe let's change its color to this really nice blue color now if i press play you can see we have our second text maybe this is too big so we can scale this down so here you can see we have our element coming in then it scales up just play around with their timing however you feel like it looks good I think this looks good now once you have this we can stay it over here and after that let's press u let's stay it to this point and after that we can go back to the original position so let's just copy these keyframes and just paste them and after that and after that let's move a couple of frames ahead and we want these keyframes so copy and paste so that we are back to this button we have this and after that it goes back to this now for this rotation we can move it a little bit to this side so we can see like these keyframes press f9 and again in the size we are changing the curves to look like this there you go once we are back to this we can 
low down its opacity as it is moving down so let's add a keyframe let's move a little bit ahead let's set this to zero and now we have our text already over here which we don't want so we can just go to wherever we want and just remove it and at this point we can change the colors so for that let's select this shape layer or let's just simply search for color let's add a keyframe now let's go to somewhere around here and just move a little bit ahead and just change it to whatever you want i want this to be like dark gray there you go perfect now we want this text to go back as well so we have this workout and we can probably change this to boxing and as this is moving let's press u add keyframes move a little bit ahead and just move it down below set this to zero and just play around with its timing so box goes down let's move it a little bit ahead and there you go now we have our second thing now we can select this text press ctrl d and let's just add it once again and we can type let's type music now if i press play it goes back then our next text comes in and then again we can repeat this step to like go back to the next clip so we can again select this let's press u and just pick a point so somewhere around here let's just copy these two keyframes and just paste it let's copy these and paste it so now you can see it is back to its original form there you go now again we can drag in our next clip which is this one let's place it over here and it's quite big so i'm going to scale this down and let's change its track mat to this layer we are basically using the same layer to get all of these track mats and if i press play we basically want it to like start appearing somewhere around here let's add a keyframe for opacity in the beginning we want this to be like completely zero there you go now we can place it at the top so that our text will be hidden as well now again we can select these two and let's just move them to the top so you can see we have this and it appears then after that it goes back now at this point we can change their colors let's add keyframes let's select this let's select this and onto this one we can apply fill in the beginning we can just change it to white let's select this search for color add a keyframe select this one add keyframe for the color as well so let's move like a couple of frames ahead and i want this to become black and this to become white so if i move again here you can see we have our second thing and this is how you can create this ui at last we can again add the text so just duplicate this let's add over here with it so we can place it down below so i'm done with my text let's change its color to this black as well there you go so if i press play you can see we have created this very nice animation of this ui we have this very nice overshoot as well at last you can add a cursor as well so for that select the pen tool now we can enable the grid and if i zoom in we can just simply click and draw a very rough mouse so just click and just draw it like that now for the color we can change this to white and the stroke we can increase it i think this looks good we can hold on the control key and double click on this so now it's sent in the center we can remove the grids now let's press s to scale this down and i think this cursor looks good we can press r to rotate it let's keep it at an angle perfect now we can place it to its initial position which is down below and we can start by adding keyframe for position now we can move it somewhere around here and we can make it appear to this point like that and uh, now we can animate it by pressing s to animate the scale 
let's add a keyframe now we basically want it to start animating somewhere around here so we have this scale keyframe let's move like one frame ahead and i want this scale to lower down and let's move one frame ahead then just simply copy this first keyframe and just paste it so just copy and paste now we have mimic this click now we can have a little bit of more spacing now we want all of these keyframes to be easy eased and we can change it a little bit more by going to the curves let's select the position i want it to come in like very quick after that and after that we can have this click and our ui expands now we want this to go back to this position so let's add a keyframe for position and scale and at this point we can go over here let's press u and just go to wherever we have our next click coming up so somewhere around here let's just copy all of these keyframes and just paste it there you go we have our next click and after that let's go to the next location which is somewhere around here and we want it to be back at this and just copy this keyframe and paste it so here we have our another click and now we have our full ui so in the same way you can like keep on going and keep on adding more elements and keep on adding more click moments so this is how you can create these kind of minimal ui animations using after effects again these are best if you want to showcase your portfolio or you want to do some website animation or any application animation so you can use these kind of techniques now the project files for this tutorial is available on patreon so if you're supporting me over there then you can download it from there and if you're not then might consider it because you will get access to the tutorial project files exclusive templates and all the other advanced vfx and cgi tutorials that are available only on patreon so make sure to check them out link for that is in the description and with that being said my name is abhishek and i'll see you in the next one